In this video, we will learn how to read and understand single line diagram, also called as power flow diagram. This drawing is of an industry and single line diagram is a basic drawing which shows the connection of power sources to various loads. Now let us understand this drawing. Here we can we have a state electricity board. This is SEB 250 kVA supply and two diesel generator sets DG1 82.5 kVA and DG2 125 kVA capacity. These are the three power sources available at the customer site and now we can see here power from state electricity board supply this is SEV supply is connected to MCCB 630 ampere 4 pole this is a molded case circuit breaker MCCB 4 pole 630 ampere this MCCB is used to switch on and off the power supply of a state electricity board. Similarly, DG1 is connected to MCCB 250 ampere and DG2 is connected to MCCB 320 ampere 4 pole. So these MCCBs are used to switch on and off the power sources supply. Now we see here. that the output of these MCCBs, DG MCCBs are connected to the input terminals of changeover switch 400 ampere. DG1 is connected to the position 1 and DG2 supply is connected to position uh, terminal number 2, it is a position 2 and it is an off condition uh, terminal. So when the changeover switch is switched to position 1 the DG1 power is available at this output terminal and if it is connected to position 2 then the DG2 power is available to the output terminals. So this changeover switch supply is used to select which DG power should be available at the load side. So this is a uh, this change over 400, 400 ampere is for selecting DG1 supply or DG2 supply to the load side. Next we can see here the change over 630 ampere. This the output of this uh, change over 400 ampere this is a DG supply is connected to the position 1 of changeover 630 ampere this is another changeover this changeover is used to select uh, DG power and here we can see at the position 2 we have this wire connected this wiring it is a state electricity board supply is connected to position 2 and at a position 1 we have DG supply connected so this changeover 630 ampere is for selecting a DG power or state electricity power to the load side and this is an aluminium bus bar here all the loads are connected to a required switch gear rating we have MCB TP 32 ampere 3 numbers and MCB TP 63 ampere 3 numbers and it is an MCCB TP 200 ampere molding section is a section workshop section here if it is switched on the power will be available at the molding section and we have one MCCB TP 200 ampere it is for an office block that the power will be available to the office block if it is switched on similarly we have two spares also these are spare one is MCCB TP 200 ampere and MCCB to TP 200 ampere as a spare two. So these are the various loads that are connected 
to this uh, aluminium bus bar 600 ampere and the power at this bus bar will be available either from the state electricity board supply or DG1 or DG2 depending upon the situation let us consider let us consider that if a state electricity board supply is healthy suppose this is healthy then the operator will switch on the MCCB 630 ampere this power will be available up to this point up to this terminal of change over switch and if the change over switch is to this position 2 then the out this power will be available at the uh, aluminium bus bar and through this to the various loads so the state electricity board supply will be available through this route to the various loads now consider that this supply is unhealthy it it fails then what will happen the operator will switch on the dg1 or dg2 based on its requirement suppose customer or the operator switches uh, this dg2 is turned on in a non condition so this power will be available at this point mccb 320 ampere at the input side of this operator has to switch on this mccb 4 pole this power will be available up to this point here the operator has to select to the position 2 so that this power will be available at this terminal and here the operator has to sell, make selection for dg, DG side because position 2 is at the this state electricity board side and position is 1 for DG supply so it will be switched to position 1 630 ampere and this power will route from this side in this here and to the aluminium bus bar and from this all the load will be run through this DG2 supply suppose the operator switches on DG1 supply then he has to put on this NCCB 400 ampere 250 ampere 4 pole 250 ampere this has to be switched on and the position of change over 400 ampere has to be switched to position 1 here and this is again at the DG side so that this power is available at the load section side here so in this way any power DG1, DG2 or state electricity board supply can be Available, is made available to the load section side remember that this single line diagram is based as per the customer requirement here customer has told that he will need to run only one DG set at a time so this SLD scheme was made hope you have understood this drawing thank you